Assalamu alaikum everyone, I am Miraj Kamran here with another interesting video, History of an Atom. In this video, I'll tell you who has discovered atom and its subatomic particles. So let's start. Atom is the smallest particle of any matter. Actually, and every matter is composed of atoms. But who has discovered this word atom? So let's see. The old name of atom is a Greek word, atomos, means not to be cut. And this name was taken by Democritus. He was the Greek philosopher for the first time he introduced this word. For more than 2400 years ago, Democritus said that matter could not be divided into smaller and smaller pieces forever. Eventually, the smallest possible piece would be obtained. This piece would be indivisible, means cannot be divided further. He named the smallest piece of matter atomos, meaning not to be cut. But unfortunately, no one believed him, and his theory was forgotten for more than 2000 years. Then came John Dalton. He gave the detailed description of atom. In 18th century, the English chemist John Dalton proposed that all matter was composed of atoms which are indivisible and indestructible building blocks. According to his theory, he deduced that all elements are composed of atoms. Atoms are indivisible and indestructible particles Atoms of the same elements are exactly alike, atoms of the different elements are different. Compounds are formed by the joining of atoms of two or more elements. His atomic model was known as billiard ball model. Then came Sir Joseph John Thomson, also known as J.J. Thomson. In year 1897, this English scientist J.J. Thomson provided the first hint that an atom is made up of even the smallest particle. He said atom can be further divided and he discovered electrons. He performed discharge tube experiment and showed that all atoms contain tiny negatively charged subatomic particle or electron. He proposed a model of an atom that is sometimes called as plum pudding model. Because in this atomic model, electrons are embedded in atoms just like plums in a pudding. Then came Eugene Goldstein. He was an early investigator of discharge tubes, the discoverer of anode rays, and is sometimes credited with the discovery of the proton. For the first time, he discovered positive rays in an atom. He performed canal rays experiment. He was the German physicist that discovered protons have an equal and opposite charge as an electron. He used cathode rays and at the same time discovered canal rays. Canal rays are the opposite from cathode rays. He assumed that these new rays had equal and opposite charge of an electron. Then came Ernest Rutherford. He is known as father of nuclear physics. In 1908, this English physicist unrevealed the mysteries of atomic structure. He performed gold foil experiment, involved firing a stream of tiny positively charged particles at a thin sheet of gold foil. In his experiment, he observed few points. According to his observations, he proposed the structure of an atom like this. He also invented nucleus of any atom.
there were few defects in his fury so his friend neel pohar remove all the defects of rutherford's fury in 1913 this danish scientist neel pohar proposed an improvement in rutherford's atomic model in his model he placed each electron in a specific energy level also called as orbit so he invented orbit for the first time according to bohr's atomic model electrons move in definite orbits around the nucleus then came erwin schrodinger in 1924 austrian physicist erwin schrodinger developed the electron cloud model today's atomic model is based on principle of wave mechanics according to which atom has a small positively charged nucleus surrounded by a large region in which there are enough electrons to make an atom neutral Then in the last came James Chadwick who invented neutrons. Sir James Chadwick was the British physicist who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his discovery of the proton, sorry neutron in 1932. It is remarkable that the neutron was not discovered until 1932. when jetwick used scattering data to calculate the mass of this neutral particle he found that mass of the neutral radiation was almost exactly the same as the proton so he invented neutrons for the first time i hope you like this video subscribe my channel for more interesting videos thank you